Hi, I'm Harbi Singh and I'm the Barefoot Doctor. Today I wanted to talk to you about selfless service, in particular selfless service of your parents. Now massage has been used for thousands of years to improve circulation, blood flow and drainage to an area and recent studies have shown that you can improve healing from using basic massage techniques that you can learn here today. I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that you can use to relieve aches and pains that your parents or somebody you know may be experiencing. There's three key areas where people develop aches and pains. They are the head and neck area and that's due to posture and stress. The lower back area and again that's due to similar elements and then the legs area especially the calves with the older generation. The next muscle we're going to look at is the hamstring muscle. The hamstring muscle is again one of the most important muscles of your body and if you sit for prolonged periods of time whether that's at an office desk or whether that's at the Gurdwara in a cross-legged position the hamstrings tend to shorten and get stiff and stuck into that shortened position. In order to counteract that we need to regularly stretch the hamstring muscle but we can also use this hamstring release to help lengthen and promote blood flow into the area. In order to do this technique you need to get your person that you're treating to lie face down you want to apply a fist type contact into the middle of the muscle and you apply as much contact as the person can tolerate. It should feel painful but a good type of pain. We hold that pressure for 30 seconds and then release. When the person comes to stand up they should feel a lot looser and a lot less discomfort than before. It's great if you're going to a camp and you're having to sit for long periods of time this one can be a lifesaver. The next muscle we're going to look at is the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle, also known as the calves. So the calf muscles are very important, particularly for those people who stand a lot. So if anyone works in a factory or is a nurse, for example, they may have to stand for long periods of time and have to walk around a lot during the day. In our parents' generation, that's quite common and it's quite common for them to get aches and pains in the calf area because of it. In order to release this muscle, we want the person we're treating to lie face down. We want to go towards the middle of the calf muscle, use a fist contact and apply pressure directly down. This will be uncomfortable for anybody who is standing on their feet all day, walking a lot or anybody who does skipping, running or football for example. The pressure should be uncomfortable enough for the person to feel a good type of pain. You want to work on the other side to make sure you keep the balance. Do that several times a week in order to promote blood flow into the area and help release muscle tension.